We're at Mobile World Congress and we're talking to Patrick Lopez, who's the CEO of Core Analysis. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Eric. How are you? Good, good. What are your key takeaways from Mobile World Congress 2015? Uh, well, there's been a lot going on, uh, but I think, um, you know, having Google coming out and say, yes, we are going to come into the wireless space and we might have an MVNO, we're going to do something, uh, that, that's, that's big news, you know, because operators, they're used to sell, you know, kilobytes and minutes of, and of voice. Uh, it's sure that Google is not going to do that. They're not going to sell kilobytes and minutes. They're going to do a mobile advertising and they're going to change um, the economics of mobile networks. So from my perspective, it means that mobile network operators are going to have to accelerate uh, the thought that they have had regarding technologies so, such as SDN and NFV, for instance, in order to make sure that they can, on one hand, reduce their costs drastically, and on the other hand, have the agility to launch new services. Core Analysis recently published a report on SDN and NFV for wireless. Could you tell us a bit about the, the key findings of this report? Um, it's a report that examines uh, basically the state of the industry, uh, trying to understand what are uh, the drivers, such as the one that I mentioned with uh, uh, Google, but we can also mention Facebook, for instance, that just was pleading network operators to consider that mobile data should be free. Uh, so all those trends uh, are impacting the business together with net neutrality, for instance. So looking at all the trends, and then from those trends, looking at what the state of the technology is for SDN and NFV. SDN we know is very mature, but it's not really wireless friendly. Uh, on the other hand, NFV is more wireless friendly, but it's very early and there's a lot of work to be done. Um, and then looking at the main vendors in the industry and trying to understand their uh, uh, roadmap compared to the roadmap of network operators like AT&T and Telefonica, etc. Um, and we can see uh, in terms of the key findings uh, that you know, most of the big vendors of telecommunications, they're just translating their current portfolio into virtualization, but there aren't that many real um, virtualization vendors like Cosmos, for instance. Uh, finally, a couple of words about core analysis, uh, your firm. Uh, how is it different from other analyst firms? Well, it's a small analyst practice, but it's really focused. It's really focused on mobile traffic management, uh, mobile video, and it's looking beyond the surface of uh, the technology. Um, and I think that the difference with uh, some of the analysts that are out there is that um, there's a technology background and I have been a vendor for 15 years before that. So I understand how networks work um, and I can understand what uh, vendors are saying and figure out what they're doing. Uh, I've been in a lot of networks, so that's really the difference I'm bringing there. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot.